This tutorial is for you if you're on a Mac and trying to connect your quantum interface to the computer with a Thunderbolt cable, but you cannot get the quantum to show up in universal control or its LED just stays red all the time. If this affects you, then hang in there because I have the solution for you right here. In case you're unaware, Universal Control is the software required to use any Presonus audio interface or mixer on your computer. So before you can run your Quantum interface on your Mac, you first need to install Universal Control, which is available as a free download in your mypersonus.com or sphere.presonus.com account after you've registered your unit. Universal Control comes with all the drivers and firmware the system needs to properly recognize the quantum, but there's a catch. Since macOS High Sierra, you actively need to allow system extensions, such as our drivers, in the security privacy settings within 30 minutes of installation. This prompt for driver access, labeled System Extension Blocked, will pop up during the first installation of Universal Control. When it does, simply click on Open Security Preferences and then click on Allow in the lower third of the window. If you click the System Extension Blocked window away, or if you never saw it in the first place, then no worries. You can easily navigate to the security preferences without this pop-up to grant the necessary driver permissions. To do this, simply click on the Apple symbol at the top left of your menu bar and then click on System Preferences and Security and Privacy. Once again, keep in mind that this needs to happen within 30 minutes of installation. If you miss this 30 minute grace period, you will have to reinstall Universal Control again and then go to the security and privacy settings once more to click allow. If you have to do this, then just open the Universal Control installer again and double click the also included uninstaller. You're going to need to restart your Mac once Universal Control has been successfully uninstalled. After rebooting, install Universal Control again, like in the beginning, and then the Allow button will appear for 30 minutes in the security and privacy settings. Once the driver permissions have been granted by macOS, reboot your computer and double check for the Allow button once more, and then the quantum LED should go from red to blue, indicating successful sync. And it will also show up in Universal Control now.